Hey everybody, and thanks for watching. Let's play some more Total War Rome 2 in the Roman Ascension campaign. So, yeah, we're about to ambush the Seleucid army uh, that my army happened to be in range of. I'm very happy about it. They've got a couple elephants, so they're not going to go down without a fight. The Battle of Oases, 14 AD. Ooh, this is in the desert. We're just going to fight on sand dunes here. Got some chariots. Yeah, cool. All right, so here's their army. Let's go ahead and have the artillery all just lined up right. Actually, I'm gonna change my mind. Have some there, have some here. This way, they're gonna get hit from two different directions. Oh man, maybe I can only have the, oh wait, no, there we go, okay, so I have some there, some there, and I'm going to do a more traditional ambush here, I did a kind of a weird one last time I did an ambush, uh, this time I'm just going to do what I normally do, and flank them evenly with my troops on both sides here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to really use my artillery to try and take down those elephants first. Because the elephants have the ability, if they're really, really upset, <laughs> to do just a lot of damage. And I don't want that to happen. I'm going to use my cavalry to take down the skirmishers in the back. Their general is a companion cavalry, so I'll use these guys to charge them directly. I'm just going to come down the hill and charge the general right there. And then we've got foot soldiers, which I can give orders to. Loyal Roman foot soldiers, including my general, who we are going to let into the fight from the beginning. Because we can. Alright, start the battle. Pause. Ah. Uh, have them fire there, them fire here. All right, I'm just gonna kind of have my skirmishers run forward and throw stuff at whoever they want to. Cavalry, I'm gonna give orders to charge in. Oh, interesting. All right, well, they moved pretty quickly there. I really hope my artillery doesn't. Alright, so those elephants just tore into my legionary cohort. Ooh, that's not good. Elephants are destroying them. Alright, guys, kill those elephants at all costs. Alright, good. Our general is under attack. I don't care if my men die at this point, those elephants need to die. Good. Down there. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. 
right, so the charge of that cavalry unit didn't work very well. Stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? All right, the elephants are down. Final. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. All right, so my interesting. Proud Roman soul. Engage. Charge. Okay, take out these chariots. units has used all its ammunition. Alright, we still won the ambush. But goodness. It gets damage. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Should give us the victory any second. Everyone is running. It looks like everyone's running. Who's not running? It hasn't given us the victory yet. It's making sure I wasn't seeing things. I don't. I guess these red units here that are still showing as running. Oh. Oh. Up a bit. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a safe display. Got him. Finish him off. The enemy general is dead. Good. Nothing like killing a Saluka general to brighten my day. Close victory. Ooh, yeah. Lost nearly a thousand men. Not good. Hidden talent counts for nothing. Nero, Roman Emperor. Nero was kind of a bastard, but that's not too off point of quote. But he was kind of a bastard. didn't finish them off, unfortunately. But, we can move back to Argila, which is good. We can recover our units. We didn't actually lose any full contingents in that battle. 
can't promote him after that. That's crazy that I can't promote him after that kind of battlefield victory. All right. Commander, how may I serve you? Oh, you're not. Kill him. Die. She wounded him. That's enough for me. And she leveled up. Hence the fist bump. So I am unstoppable. Give her additional zeal. How can I be now let's take a peek around at what's happening in the area. Is this army ready to go? Yes, like you one Italica is ready to go. It is led by someone in my family. Very good. Let's go ahead and bring him into the siege on Nakavidia as well. <laughs> oh, that's going to be bad when it finally goes through. Right, let me check on something real quick. Our Imperium level, we're getting there. Ah, next time we rise in Imperium level, we will definitely have additional influence per turn for our political party, so that will help with the Civil War, hopefully. Oh, Sparta is a farming settlement, so to make sure those buildings are being built actively. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. So we've hit the Seleucids pretty hard. We started out just getting attacked in uh, where? Where were they? Uh, Sicily. They tried to attack Lilibium, which was one of our early conquests in the campaign. And uh, we drove them back, and ever since then, uh, we've kind of had them on the defensive. And I'm going to continue to do so, and what I hope is that Carthage will take that last settlement of theirs. Because then Carthage will no longer be under threat. My lord expects that you will find it prudent to add a small, almost trifling sum to his treasury. The Axum. Where are the Axum? I don't see where the Axum are, but they say they're going to join the war against the Seleucids. Okay. I just want 4,000 for it. We Ooh. demand only a modest weight of coin. My must. Alright, so we just made some allies south of Egyptus. Um, so maybe I won't need to conquer too far down there. Um, and I can establish a good relationship with the nations that are opposed to the Seleucid Empire. That's, that's not the worst thing in the world. I'm not looking to conquer the Middle East yet. <laughs> Scribonia Lepida has been found. Can I promote anybody? Oh, yes, I can. Promote a guy in Nicovidia. Spartan wife. Religious wife. Checking on them wives. Yes, I know that was a very... Oh, good! Good! Carthage took Garama. So now Carthage has secured all this territory. There are not really any... Oh, that's so good. Right, Carthage is now contained. They have more territory than I wanted them to have, but I'm okay with how much they do have. I am. Um, Alright, so the Seleucids do have an army outside of Peritonium. They are ready to push back a little bit. And I just have to take Ammonium, which is down here. This army is not ready to move, though. Not at all. At service. all right. Let's see if we can assassinate this I character here. We have a 50% chance of any kind of success, but... Well, she wounded her. That's good enough. Good enough. I'm happy with that. How can I be of assistance? Ready for battle. Your orders... Ready for orders. All right, 
Let's see how this siege is going again. Oh wait, I can go ahead and. <laughs> yeah, I'm attacking this settlement with 8,000 troops. And their biggest defense is a small army and a large Seleucid army that is apparently in the area to help them. I have two siege towers built. Man Manlius Perturculus. He is sieging away. It's good. So we'll finish off the Athenians, and these armies will just spread and start to take these other areas uh, in this peninsula away from um, the Seleucids. It's going to be fairly rapid if it goes according to plan. Quintius Rullus, who do you belong to? Not our family. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here and continue to push back against the Seleucids in the next episode or two. Hope you join me. Thanks for watching.